Before we start on today's video, I would like to introduce our Instagram account, at LSFTVideos. You can see some updates on my experience with the NX 450H Plus, which may not be shown on any future videos. You can also reach me via direct messaging on Instagram if you have any questions on your NX. And if you like this video, you can provide comments, like this video, and share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel, and press that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. And if you'd like to support me further and support this channel, you can also provide a super thanks, which is greatly appreciated. And now, let's get to the video. Hey, it's LSFT here today, and today we're looking at the July sales for Toyota Lexus in Canada and the United States. So you see here, we have the press release for Toyota Canada, and you can see it says record-setting electrified vehicle sales represent 41.6% of the overall sales for July 2023. And yes, another record month for Lexus in July. The same communication, TMMC built vehicles are leading the way. Record setting for Electrify sales led the way for Toyota Canada Incorporated in July, 41.6% or 8,265 units, and that is up 99.5% from July last year. Electrify vehicles represent a record of 59.5% of all Lexus units sold in July, and it's led by the NX Hybrid and the RX Hybrid. And both of them are actually setting July sales records as well. Unfortunately, don't know those numbers. Then we look at electrified vehicles are representing 38.8% of all Toyota units sold. So Lexus has, are selling more hybrids, more electrified vehicles than Toyota really is in the ratio wise, right? Led by the record July sales for the RAV4 Hybrid, RAV4 Prime, and Corolla Hybrid. The Corolla Cross Hybrid on its first month of sales contributed 317 sales to this electrified July sales record. So they did tell us one model the Corolla Cross sold 317 units. And then they're talking about in July, they sold 1,751 battery electric vehicles, plug-in hybrids, and fuel cell EVs. So let's look at Lexus here. So Lexus has sold 2,647 units, and that's up 20.4% from July 2022. That seems a lot, right? because I think 2022 was not as good of a year. But looking at it, Toyota also had a strong month of July, selling 17,224, and that's also up 5.1% comparing to July 2022. And it's because they have a strong portfolio, and they're saying that they did the best month for the Corolla Cross since launch, and they sold 1,329 units. So overall, they sold 19,871 units, and that's up 6.9% from 2023 to 2022. So they're saying here we can see that TMMC is, is leading the way. Sales of the best-selling passenger in Canada, the RAV4, is up 25.8% by record sales for July and up 30.2% for the RAV4 Hybrid. And they're saying that the NX and RX also saw strong July sales and records for their respective hybrid versions. And that's all we have. Unfortunately, no breakdown again this, this month. So I'm going to quickly move over to the spreadsheet, which actually has the Canadian numbers. I only have the overall numbers just to look at how much more are we really talking about. All right, so now let's look at the Lexus Canada sales and again I don't have numbers unfortunately I only have up to May at this point so it's really just looking at this last part probably gonna have to zoom in more so you guys can see so looking at here you can see that Lexus Canada has actually been doing extremely well in 2023 you can see every single month has actually been record-breaking months even though this month was very very close so 2021, they sold 2,608, and they sold 2,647. So they've actually still broke that record. And when you look at it, every month they've done well. So 18,000, almost 19,000 
for up to July. And that is quite good. And then when we really look at like 2021, where they had the best sales of 25,907. And if we just look at here, this was 15,013 units. And they're at 18, almost 19,000. So that is extremely good. And even when you look at 2019, pre-pandemic time frame, that's 14,000. So 18,000, extremely good numbers. So just looking at taking this and taking the numbers that we see in 2021, that's almost 30,000. So I am really looking at, they may make 30,000 units this year. So let's go with the highest and let's see where we actually land. So this is all the record breaking, that's 31,000. And if it is 31,000, I think we've got a new record for Lexus Canada. I don't think they've ever sold more than 30,000. So congratulations to Lexus Canada here. And let's move on to the USA. All right, so now we've moved over to Lexus USA. Good thing is I do have model breakdowns here. And it looks like it's not a bad month, but not a very good month as well. So before I even just go through every model, let's go to the total. So you can see here, 24,851 units. Better than last year, but not better than 2019, nor better than 2021. It's just right in the middle, let's say. So not as good of a month for Lexus USA this time. So let's go and have a look. The UX, 898 units in July down from last last month but but much better than 2022 but from the top record 1722 very far away moving over to the is so the is when you look at it 2042 units the best month of this year actually right um but still second best they did quite well in 2021 with 2795 and they sold 2042 not, I wouldn't say bad, 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 but it's okay. ES, again, they've been selling a lot less of the ESs, but 3,222, not too bad. No record breaking is actually the less of the five years. LS, again, low volume, 181, seems to be decent, but still the less, the, like, the lowest of the five years as well. Going to the LC, 162, not too bad. Second of the five years, not breaking that 313 in 2021, but much better than last year. RC, 136 units in July. And you look at it, again, worse of the five years. Uh, it just seems to be not going anywhere. All right, let's look at the BEV. 495 so we're starting starting to ramp up a little bit so I, I wouldn't say we have nothing really to compare but you can see that they sold more rz's than rc's lc's ls's so it has some room for some market share here all right so now let's move over to the suvs nx they've been having quite good sales this year 5000 4000 and very close to the record breaking of the of all the months. This month, number two of the five years, there's still like 1,000, almost 1,000 units under from the record in 2021. So there seems to be less shipments or less sales for the NX. So has that momentum stopped? We will have to see what that means in August to see has the momentum stopped or they're starting to flat out or it is the supply thing. The RX, 8,815. It doesn't look nice, right? The record is 11,000. That's gonna be quite far away. Overall, again, not a bad year. First quarter, but July seems to be starting off a little bit not as good. It's almost like this. it is the second least sales month for this month. Like, they're so close to the 2020 number. But let's see if it'll rebound in August because you can see low numbers will tend to bring better numbers in August. 
So we'll have to see what that means. But when you compare it to the best year, 2021, this, the first seven months, 67,951. We're not too far from that. 66,000, right? So it may reach over 100,000 units this year. I don't think that we're going to see any problems for the RX to reach 100,000 units this year. Looking at the GX, GX, no record breaking really this year, but with the announcement of the new GX, typically when there's new announcement, new cars, sometimes it will impact sales of the old model because people are waiting, waiting, waiting for the new model. But when you look at here, I don't think that it's impacting it as much. Some people still like that V8, so I think that's the reason why we are still seeing the sales here. LX. LX is probably the best one of all models here. Continues to be record-breaking month for the past five years here. 531 units, and they've already outsold the past two years already. And I think they're on the record to be the best LX in the past five years for sure here. All right, so 24,851 units, not as good. Still number two, but very close to the other months and not the 2021 number. So we will have to see how this shakes out. But overall, numbers aren't too bad at this point. Even when we look at the 304,000 units, 188,000 units to 147, so there's still 14,000 units short from the top. So we'll have to see if they can catch up, or they will be very close, very similar to the previous years, so meaning about 270, 280,000 units for 2023. All right, so this is all we have for the USA, and just to look at the NX overall, this month, even though it's a lower month, it's still number two in the record of NX. So it's not that bad. It's just a little bit under, I guess, eight 900 units is still a little bit hard to sell for an extra month. But again, we have to look at the number of days that they can sell and all that. So let's see August to see if it will rebound or not. All right, since we're at sales, I'm going to go over to the first quarter, uh, first half of 2023 in the worldwide Lexus sales. So when you look at here, Japan has been a burning month, burning first quarter, because when you look at it, they have actually been best selling for June all the way. So looking at 51,247 units, and that is really good because it took them half a year to actually meet 2021 sales in Japan. And I think this is going to be a record year for Japan. No matter how you look at it, it will break that record. Good job in Japan. And again, some of it could be the delays that they've done last year. The demand is high this year. And we look at North America. June was actually a good year. 167,000 units wasn't too far. And when now when you start looking at July, um, 33,000, it will be a little bit hard, but we will have to see. But overall, I would say we're still on a good trend to be very close to 2021 numbers. Canada has been doing well, so hopefully Canada will help the decrease in the U.S. a bit. But overall, I think they will be charging forward to a breaking year for North America as well. Asia, on the other hand, is where all the problems are, really, because 98,000 in June, uh, up year to date, is really hurting a lot. <laughs> Very far, right? They're like 50,000 units short. So Asia definitely, they'll be, it'll be great if they can get over 200,000 units. So this is where the challenge is going to be. Europe, uh, Europe is still not uh Recovered, I would say. 31,000 is much better than last year. Compared to 2021, they're still short. And 2020, they're much better than the breaking 2019. Uh, 8,000 units, so it's one month short, really. 
And then when we look at Oceania, Australia, and New Zealand, you've been actually getting a lot less uh, supply. But I think this year, numbers are getting better. You can see uh, 7,761, almost more than last year already. One more month, you've broke it. So probably by July today, you've broke the 2022 number already. And looking at it, not too hard to break the overall record here too as well. So let's see if Oceania will do that. Latin America, again, similar trend to Oceania. 1,791 broke the record again. So haven't broke any of the previous year sales already, but I don't think we're far from that. July, we will probably start seeing breaking 2020 and maybe in August, we'll start breaking these. Going to 3,000, I think it's possible. Looking at 1355 to 1791, I think Latin America, you're going to beat the record this year as well. Middle East, surprise, 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 right? Again, similar to Japan, they are at 23,558, not breaking any of the months yet, but much better sales in the Middle East. And will they continue? I think they will. Africa, it's a low selling market really, but it's a continent themselves as well. So 129 for June, not too bad. Broke the record for June here at least. Five, 555, not too far from the 6530. So we will have to see if we're going to get triple digits here. And if we do, we will start seeing better numbers in Africa. And then we look at worldwide sales. Haha, June of 2023 is the best selling month of the past five years. You can see here the trend. Um, 2023 doesn't seem to be going to break the 2021 numbers. Um, we are still short compared to the numbers but it does have a sign of good recovery. And they did say that the latter half of the year, they will be better in production and be able to get more sales out the door. So let's see what that means. Does that mean that we will be able to see more sales records? We don't know, but time will tell. But looking at US, it hasn't been as good of a month of July. And for Canada, it's actually been quite good. So we will have to see other markets to see if the sales numbers will gain. And if they do, even though the U.S. has flattened a bit, it will still be not a bad year overall. So what are your guesses? Do you think Lexus will sell more? Or you're one of those that's saying that because they're behind in battery electric technology, they will not be doing well and they're going to go bankrupt. Let me know in the comments below. And until next month, drive safely. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can provide me a super thanks. And until next time, cheers.